ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Frohe Weihnachten. Thanks for joining us today as we celebrate the most wonderful time of the year right here in good old Deutschland. So today we're going to talk about Christmas, how we celebrate Christmas, how they celebrate Christmas here in Germany, compared a little bit with what I'm used to in the United States, how we celebrate Christmas there with my family. And we're going to discuss some of the traditions and some of the things that we may not know about, that you may not know about as Americans, um, as the background for Christmas. So the first thing I want to talk about is Christmas in Germany is awesome. It is fantastic. I, I've, been, I've lived in Germany off and on since the mid-1990s. So I spent many Christmases in Germany and I tell you it is just a fantastic time to be here and I really can't think of a better place to celebrate the holidays as we might call it in the United States or the Christmas season than in Germany. Right, so it is about four weeks, depending, give or take a week or two, four to six weeks of a celebration, and it's just a great time. It's a very cozy, beautiful time to be here. All right, so the first thing that we love about Christmas in Germany are, are the Christmas markets. And the Christmas markets are just truly fantastic. So basically, every city, practically every city, every town, every village, no matter how big or small, right around four weeks before, before Christmas, they will transform into a winter wonderland. And the uh, town squares, the city squares, the, the main uh, areas around the downtown area, they'll open up these little stands, they'll decorate for Christmas, decorate for the holidays, and they sell arts and crafts, they sell uh, glue vine, which is hot mulled wine. They sell all kinds of food from all around Germany and different parts of the world. People gather, they come in and out, they stroll through the city as they're going about their day, as they're shopping. And it's just, it's a very nice festival time of the year. It's a great thing. And I remember when I went to my first Christmas market in the mid 1990s, I thought, wow, this is really, really awesome. So they open up traditionally on the first weekend of Advent, which is uh, about four weeks before Christmas. So it, the first Advent is the first is the Sunday of the four weeks before Christmas. So, and that's when it starts. So, to, so most Christmas markets will start the Friday before the first Advent. Now, I'm a little bit embarrassed to share this with you, but when I first came to Germany, as a young man in the mid-1990s, and I went to my first Christmas market, the first couple years, I was like, wow, this is great. They always start the Friday after Thanksgiving. So being an American and thinking that the world revolves around the United States, I thought, that's pretty awesome that they plan their Christmas markets around our Thanksgiving. Well, of course, that is not the case. Um, the Christmas markets are, are planned around Advent. What the heck is Advent? As an American, now for me, I'm sure other people know, depending on where you where you grew up and where you're raised, but for me, I had heard of the word Advent before, and I knew it was associated with Christmas, but I'll be honest with you, I had no clue what it meant. So Advent means uh, the coming, and, and typically it's associated with the coming of Jesus or the arrival of Jesus. So it's the time, the four weeks when people start preparing and celebrating to celebrate the, the birth of, of Jesus Christ in the, in the Christian religion. So that's what Advent is. So the, the Christmas markets are actually based on the Advent season and our Thanksgiving in the United States, of course, the date was scheduled to coincide with the Christmas season to kind of have a holiday and then let everybody have off the following Friday to kick off the commercialism of Christmas to get everybody into the stores buying stuff. So that's why we have Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, to start the, um, uh, the Christmas shopping season. And also, so the Advent, you know, is, is usually is right around the end of Thanksgiving, or right around the end of November, rather, and it continues uh, through Christmas. So we have these delicious things, wonderful little things, which are called Advent calendars. And now, so the Advent calendar starts on the 1st of December, and you open a little door every day, starting on the 1st of December, and you get a little treat inside, right? So those are really nice, a nice way to celebrate the, uh, the Christmas season. Every day, 
you get a present. And it goes all the way up until the 25th Christmas day, all right? Um, so very cool. Advent calendars associated with Advent, Christmas market, it all ties in. Now, this, the next thing I wanna talk about, which is different to Americans, or at least from where I'm from, is um, St. Nicholas Tag, or, or St. Nicholas Day, which is on the, uh, the 6th of December. Now, uh, we never celebrated that where I, came, where I come from. I'd never even heard of St. Nicholas Day, to be honest with you. To me, and I think many Americans, St. Nicholas and Santa Claus are like the same, same person, same thing. Um, and Santa Claus, St. Nicholas, comes on the 24th of December on Christmas Eve and delivers presents to, to kids that have been good. Well, St. Nicholas, he comes on the evening of the 5th of December and he delivers treats to, uh, to good boys and girls that they wake up and find on the 6th of December. So what happens is um, the kids clean their shoes or their boots uh, on, the, on the 5th and they put them outside their door and they wake up on the 6th of December, hopefully they have a nice treat inside of their boot or their shoe. If they've cleaned it up nicely, they've been a good kid. Now, the thing that we don't have in the United States, which is kind of scary, and, and I don't think they really celebrate this too much in Germany anymore, but St. Nicholas actually has an evil sidekick. Right, so there's an evil sidekick, and depending on where you're from, different parts of Germany, even different parts of Europe, he looks different, he's a, he's a different person, has a different name, but basically St. Nicholas has an evil sidekick that comes, and if the kids were not good, then not only do they not receive a treat, but they might receive a punishment. Now this could be maybe a, a spanking, I guess, or, or maybe some sort of bad thing left at their house, but in some traditions, from what I understand, the evil sidekick of St. Nicholas might even take the bad kids away with him and wherever he's going, so he takes the bad kids away from their family. So no one wants to be um, the bad kid who gets taken away by St. Nicholas's evil counterpart. So that's something we certainly don't have in the United States. All right, so in the United States, if we have an equivalent to getting gifts in your boots, I guess it would be the stockings. So traditionally we'll hang stockings by the fireplace. If you have a fireplace, if not, you'll find some other place in your house to hang stockings. And when Santa Claus comes on Christmas Eve, he'll leave uh, some sort of gifts in, in your stocking. He leaves most of them under the tree, but some things he will put in the stocking. Um, I suppose this is kind of tied over from the old uh, gifts in the boot from St. Nicholas uh, that we celebrate here. In, in Germany. Now, who's Kris Kringle? So we've got Santa Claus, we've got St. Nicholas, we've got Kris Kringle. They're all kind of the same in the United States. Uh, I don't really know who Kris Kringle is supposed to be. I think that maybe that's Santa Claus's name before he became Santa Claus. Next point. So not only do not only do they have St. Nicholas Taug and they have Christmas Margarets and they have advent calendars and they celebrate this whole time, but Christmas, actually, Christmas itself, actually has about three days of celebration, right? So first off, really the most important day um, of the Christmas celebration in, in the German tradition is uh, Christmas Eve. Uh, they call it Heiliger Abend or, or Holy Evening. Um, and so this, this day, uh, you'll typically, they'll open most of their presents. Uh, they'll get together their family. They have, traditionally, they have kind of a, of a modest meal. A lot of times they have a Bockwurst or some sort of verse with potato salad. They don't have, have like a, a lot of people don't have a really huge extravagant meal. Kind of modest, but they spend it. Maybe they go to the church and uh, they sing songs or, or they have a, a, a little uh, a religious uh, celebration. And then they spend the rest of the time at home with their family and friends on Christmas Eve. And that's probably the most important day. Uh, of the Christmas celebration. And then the next day, they have what they call the first Christmas day. And uh, that's, you know, they have big meals, they get together with their close family, maybe their, their very close friends. You know, they celebrate, they eat, they drink, you know, typical holiday celebration on, on Christmas day. And then from what I understand, they also have what they call a second Christmas day, 
which follows on the 26th. And the 26th is basically a continuation of the first Christmas day. And maybe the people that you didn't see on the first Christmas day, you'll get together with them, you'll visit those people on the second Christmas day. So you've really kind of got three days of celebration uh, for, for Christmas, Christmas Eve, the first Christmas day, and the second Christmas day. All right, so from what I understand in Germany, from my experience, um, St. Nicholas comes on the 5th of December, the kids get their presents on the 6th of December, and then on Christmas Eve, there, there's the Weihnachtsmann, which means Christmas man, or there's the, the Christkind, which means the, the Christ child brings presents on the, on the Christmas Eve, Heiligabend, um, I'm not really sure, and, and, and some places you see more of a, uh, starting to see in the last you know 10 or 15 years that I've noticed more of an imagery of what we would call Santa Claus. So uh, Germans out there watching this, why don't you leave a comment and let us know who brings the presents on your holidays. St. Nikolaus, Santa Claus, Christkind, um, whoever it is, let us know who it is, right? And we appreciate it. Leave, those, uh, leave that in the comments for us. Now one thing I've noticed, um, I talked about the commercialism in the United States and how in Germany it seems much more family-based and not big presents. But what I have noticed in the last, you know, several years, since the mid-90s anyway, uh, Christmas in Germany is getting more commercialized. You know, they have, even though they don't celebrate Thanksgiving, they have Black Friday sales here as well. I've noticed that in the last 10 years or so. Um, and they also will have Black Week sales, or they were all week long supposedly has uh, Christmas sales. So it is getting more and more commercialized in Germany as well, uh, but it's still not quite uh, at the level as it is in the United States. They celebrate New Year's Eve, they have a lot of fireworks, parties, very similar to how we celebrate in the United States, New Year's Day. And then depending on what part of Germany you're at, some regions will extend the celebration until the 6th of January when they celebrate what we might call Three Kings Day or the Day of the Three Wise Men. When traditionally, according to the Christian tradition, the uh, three wise men came to, uh, to visit uh, the newborn baby Jesus, and they presented him with presents. So in certain regions of, of Germany, um, children from the local area will dress up like the, the three wise men, and they'll go door to door in, in your village, knocking on the door, and they'll ask, they're asking for donations, normally to support some sort of cause uh, somewhere around the world. And, and typically they'll give you like a flyer telling you what kind of cause they're, they're celebrating uh, that particular year. You give them a donation. Oftentimes you'll give them uh, you know, some sort of candy or, 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 or sweets or something. And then uh, they'll sing a song, they'll sing some sort of uh, a song at your door and they'll bless your house and usually they'll write on the door um, the, the day and the year and they'll have um, the initials of the some people say it's the wise men uh, some people say it stands for something in Latin uh, uh, God bless this house I believe so they'll bless your house so that's a pretty uh, cool tradition as well and that kind of caps off the Christmas season the holiday season and after that point, um, if they haven't done so already, people will take down their Christmas trees, they'll take down their, um, their decorations, and then we'll move on to the next celebration, which if you're in Germany, the next celebration is never too far behind. Right now, so from my experience, all the Christmases I've spent in Germany, it's, it's based around getting together with people, your friends and your family, uh, spending time together, exchanging gifts, but normally not huge, expensive uh, elaborate uh, gifts like we tend to do in the United States from my experience. So from when I when I grew up in the times I've celebrated Christmas in the United States for, for my lifetime, uh, Christmas, it, the holiday season as some people call it, so it's some, sometimes we don't even say Christmas, but the holiday season starts after, at Thanksgiving, then the day after Thanksgiving, it's a mad rush to go shopping. You know, some people go, you know, starting at midnight, they, they knock down the doors to the stores to get the, the best Black Friday deals and, and they shop. And, and Christmas is all about spending money, uh, buying elaborate gifts, buying the, the, the best must have gifts. Um, so it's very expensive. A lot of money is spent. And then, so after Thanksgiving weekend, yeah, things kind of die down a little bit. People shop a lot. People decorate their houses. We put a big elaborate light shows in our houses and, and 
things like that. So it's very bright, it's very shiny, uh, very catchy, I guess. Um, but it's really focuses on spending money. It really focuses on buying gifts, spending money and buying gifts for people. So Christmas Eve rolls around and in, in the United States, you know, you might have a, a Christmas party, you might get together with a few people, but Christmas Eve itself, you know, some people go to church, you know, maybe you go to mass for Christmas Eve celebration, but Christmas Eve itself normally isn't a huge celebration from, from my experience. Uh, you might open a few presents under the tree, get together with your immediate family, but our big celebration is Christmas Day, the 25th of December. The kids wake up, Santa Claus had visited the night before. Uh, they wake up and, and there's presents under the tree. So Santa gets the credit for most of the presents, right? So the kids will wake up, oh, Santa brought me this, Santa brought me that, Santa brought me this. And so Santa gets credit for most of the presents. And that's Christmas Day, we'll have huge meals, We'll eat a lot, eat a lot of turkey, eat a lot of ham, and, and spend the day eating and playing with our toys or, or exchanging gifts. Um, and then, on the 26th of December, it's not a holiday. It's not a day we typically spend with a lot of friends and family. The 26th of December is the day to take back to the store all the gifts you got that you really didn't like. So, 26th is full the stores are full of people returning gifts in the United States. Uh, I didn't really like this, I'm gonna take it back, or this is the wrong color, the wrong size, whatever. So the 26th of December in the United States is all about going back to the store and returning your gifts. And then we might go back to work uh, the following week. And then we have New Year's, we have New Year's Eve parties, uh, big celebrations. New Year's Eve is normally a day to recover from your New Year's Eve party. And that pretty much finishes the holiday season in the United States and Christmas is over. I've never known anyone who ever celebrated a Three Kings Day or anything like that in the United States. I never experienced that until I moved to Germany for the first time. So I hope you enjoyed this information. Uh, you know, if, if you have different experiences or you think something I said uh, doesn't quite match up with how you celebrate Christmas, you know, please leave, leave, leave us a note in the, in the comments. Be sure to, uh, to uh, like this if you found it informative and uh, subscribe to get more, um, more, more updates on our life in Germany and living in Europe. Merry Christmas!